drop him in his fourth as they jump to second last. Cavalino up on the outside of Mercury Lane, enemy public in third, and they're clear. Heading uphill towards the final flight, Cavalino with the yellow sleeves on the inside Mercury Lane, enemy public. Will jump it in third, a mistake by Cavalino. On the run in, Cavalino with enemy public picking up now on the sand side and coming through under Jack Kennedy. And enemy public will get off the mark, goes away to win it by almost three lengths. Drop him in his fourth as they jump to second last. Cavalino up on the outside of Mercury Lane, enemy public in third, and they're clear. Heading uphill towards the final flight, Cavalino with the yellow sleeves on the inside Mercury Lane, enemy public will jump it in third, a mistake by Cavalino. On the run in, Cavalino with enemy public picking up now on the sand side and coming through under Jack Kennedy. And enemy public will get off the mark, goes away to win it by almost three lengths, close for second with on the inside Mercury Lane, near side Cavalino. De Bennett on the outside, jumping at his day in goal between the last two flights and heading uphill. Quarry Lil from Brosnan Rocco with the noseband challenging. Behind him, Dane Gold and Monty's mission as they come to jump the final flight. Brosnan Rocco led over it from Quarry Lil in second, then Monty's mission and Dane Gold, but with less than 100 yards to race. Brosnan Rocco and Peter Carberry going away will win it for Sonny Carey. Quarry Lil second and De Bennett on the outside. Jumping at his day in goal between the last two flights and heading uphill. Quarry Lil from Brosnan Rocco with the noseband challenging. Behind him, Dane Gold and Monty's mission as they come to jump the final flight. Brosnan Rocco led over it from Quarry Lil in second, then Monty's mission and Dane Gold, but with less than 100 yards to race. Brosnan Rocco and Peter Carberry going away will win it for Sonny Carey. Quarry Lil second, Monty's mission third, Dane Gold fourth. towards the inside humble glory not much to choose between the trio as they jump it Aaron's benefit towards the outside a bit of a collision between the other pair but as they head uphill to the final flight Aaron's benefit wandering in the centre of the course Bohemian Birch over towards the inside as they jump the last a mistake and Aaron's benefit is on Chip Dennis O'Regan at the last leaving Bohemian Birch in command humble glory is second wild caprice back in third but as they go to the line driven out by Paul Townend Bohemian Birch will win by a couple of lengths and towards the inside, Humble Glory, not much to choose between the trio as they jump it. Aaron's benefit towards the outside, a bit of a collision between the other pair, but as they head uphill to the final flight, Aaron's benefit. Wandering in the centre of the course, Bohemian Birch over towards the inside as they jump the last, a mistake, and Aaron's benefit is on Chip Dennis O'Regan at the last, leaving Bohemian Birch in command. Humble Glory is second, Wild Caprice back in third, but as they go to the line, driven out by Paul Townend, Bohemian Birch will win by a couple of lengths from Humble Glory, Wild Caprice in third. No game, no fame, no game. That's the leading trio as they come to jump to second last. Moyot Gold, Nels Well, the outside little token in third, and they're clear as they run uphill to the final flight. Nels Well challenging in the grey and pink. Moyot Gold second, little token back in third over the last. Nels Well on the stand side. Moyot Gold battling on on the rail. Not much to choose between them as they go to the line. Moyot Gold on the inside of Nels Well, and Moyot Gold comes back bravely and wins it for Gavin Brodering. That's the leading trio as they come to jump to second last. Moyot Gold, Nels Well, the outside little token in third, and they're clear as they run uphill to the final flight. Nels Well challenging in the grey and pink. Moyot Gold, second little token back in third over the last. Nels Well on the stand side. Moyot Gold battling on in the rain. Not much to choose between them as they go to the line. Moyot Gold on the inside of Nels Well and Moyot Gold. Comes back bravely and wins it for Gavin Broder and James Nash from in second, Nels Well. Exit to the west just behind them as they clear the second last. Moscow so hot led, Twilight Girl exits to the west trying to close as they head uphill towards the final fence. Moscow so hot, Twilight Girl exits to the west towards the stand side at the last. And over it, Moscow So Hot led exit to the west. Twilight Girls to trying to stay on again on the inside, but Moscow So Hot going on to win it for Conor Orr and James Delay from exit to the west just behind them as they clear the second last. Moscow So Hot led, Twilight Girl exit to the west trying to close as they head uphill towards the final fence. Moscow So Hot, Twilight Girl exit to the west towards the stand side at the last. And over it, Moscow So Hot led exit to the west. Twilight Girls to trying to stay on again on the inside, but Moscow So Hot going on. To win it for Conor Orr and James Delay from exit to the west second, Twilight Girl third in fourth spot, Mr. Butler.
as they come to jump to second last. Crack on Corrie on the outside, the presenting point. Presenting point still with the advantage between the last two fences. Motcombe Street back in third, and then it's only a number. As they head for the final fence, presenting point. Crack on Corrie challenging at the last. Presenting point out in front, a couple of lengths clear. Crack on Corrie second to break to a, it's only a number. Down at the last all class, but driven out by Philip Enright. Presenting point will win for Owen O'Grady. April's moon is weakened as they head to the elbow. Tease components, yes, with King's Keeper challenging. They've gone on from Rocky's Howie as they head up the straight. Inside the final furlong, King's Keeper on the stand side over on the inside is Tease components. Yes, they fight it out inside the final furlong. Tease components, yes, still with the advantage from King's Keeper. And as they go to the line, Tease components, yes, will win. Makes virtually all for Anya O'Connor. April's moon is weakened as they head to the elbow. Tease components, yes, with King's Keeper challenging. They've gone on from Rocky's Howie as they head up the straight. Inside the final furlong, King's Keeper on the stand side over on the inside is Tease components, yes, they fight it out inside the final furlong. Tease components, yes, still with the advantage from King's Keeper. And as they go to the line, Tease components, yes, will win. Makes virtually all for Anya O'Connor. Wins well. King's Keeper second. Rocky's Howie a third. Ben <laughs>